DJ the other day asked me if I thought it would be okay for him to put out a tip jar at the event he was doing. Hi, it's Bill. This is Creative License, and thanks again for being so nice to my sponsors, ElectroVoice, DJ Event Planner, Promo Only, Disc Jockey News, and of course my workshop, The Entertainment Experience, and I have one coming up in November. Two-day workshop. You want to know about it? Send me a note. I'll tell you what you want to know. So tip jars, huh? Huh. Well, I've got an opinion, and some people's opinions on this are very passionate. Some people get really upset about this topic. So let me try to be calm and clear about what I think about tip jars and maybe what your clients think about tip jars. I don't think that your clients like the idea of tip jars at all. I think that they see it as you working for anybody who'll throw you a dollar and not necessarily for the interests of the people paying you. Um, now, I know people do it in bars. I kind of get that, except for the bar is already paying you. The bar is paying you for one specific thing, and it usually is not to play any request a client will give you, regardless of what it is, just because you made $20, $50, $100, or even 50 cents. Uh, a bar has specific goals in mind, and their goals are to keep people moving through the facility, keep mo people moving from the dance floor to the bar, to the tables, to the food, to the bar, to the liquor, to the dance floor, mostly the food and the liquor. Uh, and they pay you what they consider pretty well to do that job and not just to serve people that are one person's idea when they put a tip money into your, into your jar because they liked what you did or because they want to hear a specific song. At a wedding, I think it's even more difficult because you are there, yes, to serve their guests to some capacity, but mostly that you're there to make the client look good, the bride, the groom, the parents, the people putting on the celebration. Your job is to make them look good. They're paying you way more usually than you would make in a bar. So why would you need to put it out of tip jar unless you're not charging enough? You know where I see tips specifically okay is when it comes to street performers, buskers. You're gonna DJ on the street uh, and you're just setting up and playing for people walking by. Those people can tip you for the talent they see or the songs that you play or the things that you do. Yeah, I mean, buskers, their entire job is, is passing the hat and uh, making sure that they can make enough money to do it again tomorrow. That is the whole idea behind the hat, the tip. Um, I also hear people say, well, I work for another guy, you know, and he's, he's paying me to be there and I'm not making more than anywhere between 50 to 150 to $200. So I'm a service provider and a service provider uh, does something over and above, then the client should be able to tip them. I get that. But once again, your client is the person who's paying you the main check. So if they wanna tip you at the end because you gave extraordinary service, okay, I, I can see that as being appropriate. But to put out a tip jar means that you've become piano man. You've become a human jukebox. You've become in service to the one specific person that gave you the money as opposed to the bride and the groom and their thoughts for the entire uh, celebration. So that's my opinion. Plus, I think it looks bad. It doesn't make you look good. <laughs> I'm sorry. It doesn't make you look good at all. It makes you look desperate and needy. And it makes you look like the only reason you're doing it is for the money and for the tips. And that's not true, is it? I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm saying that's what it looks like. And in a world where as a performer, your perception and what they perceive you to be is usually reality, why would you not try to avoid the things that make you look bad? You got opinions? I wanna know. You don't have to agree with me. Tell me in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you next week on Creative License.